In the base game of Terraforming Mars, there are 12 corporations to choose from. And today, I want to talk to you about the top five corporations that you can choose in order to help you to get off to the best start possible. When choosing the corporation during your opening hand, it's important to understand that all 12 corporations have value. Many of the corporations that you choose are going to be predicated on your opening hand, how many players you're playing against, and the different styles that you may enjoy playing with yourself. Remember, a lot of this is subjective, and I know many of you are gonna disagree with my top five corporations. But that's great. I wanna hear about it below, so please leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video, and hopefully we can get some more done in the near future. Coming in at number five, we've got Interplanetary Cinematics. Interplanetary Cinematics is awesome. Um, you're getting 70 money total, 20 steel and 30 mega credits to get your engine off to a ridiculously good start. Um, sure, you're getting 20 steel that is limited to building tags, but most of the building tag cards in the game are engine building cards to begin with. So awesome. You get off to a really good start. Your effect for this card kind of sucks, but I don't know. I personally, I love space cards and I love event cards and a $2 rebate for every event card that you're playing. I'll take it. I mean, it's just a little something on the side. It's not the best effect, but whatever. Regardless of that, you really have nothing pigeonholing you to go a specific direction with this corp. You kind of go whichever way you want and you're getting a boatload of money to start. I don't know how you can't love this corporation. It's, it's awesome. Coming in at number four, we've got Saturn Systems. This is a great corporation. The more players that are playing in the game, this corporation actually gets better. In a two player game, if I've got a couple Jovian tags in my hand, I'll probably take it. But if not, then it might actually fall below my top five. But in a three, four, or even better yet, a five player game, this corporation gets way stronger. It's just so much better. Jovian tags are the most powerful tags in the game and they're going to get played. So you're gonna get that passive effect of one mega credit production throughout the game. With this corporation, you're most likely to be playing a lot of space cards. Space cards are my favorite cards to play in the game. So this corporation actually lends really well to my style of play which is another thing that I love about it. Overall, I'm just looking for the most players possible to get multiple Jovian multipliers. Multiple Jovian multipliers. You know what I mean. Coming in at number three, we've got Tharsis Republic. Oh, I love this corporation. It's such a great corporation. You're getting 40 mega credits to start the game, which is actually average to subpar, but you're getting to place a city tile as your first action of the game. You're getting a $3 rebate for every city that you play. And then you get a $1 mega credit production for every city that gets placed on the board throughout the game. It's just, it's so much fun to play because you get to dominate the board. You get to watch your little cities grow around the map and get to place greeneries, hopefully, around those cities, making the map all yours. One of the great benefits of being Tharsis is that early in the game, you should have the opportunity to get a couple of the awards and milestones. For milestones, you're gonna get mayor because you've already got one city on the board right off the bat and placing two more shouldn't be that difficult. So there's a milestone for you right there. And then the award for landlord should be really easy to take as well because you're almost guaranteed to dominate the board. So with that being said, in my opening hand, I'm gonna focus my hand on getting city cards and energy production cards. The reason I say energy production cards is because most of those city cards require some sort of energy to sacrifice when you're placing them on the board. So I love this corporation. It's very intuitive. It's very easy to play. You have a sole focus. And if you stick to that, you're gonna dominate. Coming in at number two, we've got Teractor. Yes, I love this corporation. Please give me Teractor. 60 mega credits to start the game. 60! With 60 mega credits, you can do almost anything you want to do in the beginning of the game. You could buy seven cards and you still have about 40 mega credits left over to do what you want. 
This gives you such an advantage to get your engine started and to get off to a great start. Minus three for every earth tag is pretty nice too because let's be real, a lot of these earth tags are pretty darn good. So there's really not much more to say. I mean, it's a very straightforward corporation. 60 mega credits is a boatload of money to do whatever you want early. And my motto has always been, money early is way better than money later. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that just like some of those other corps I mentioned, it's not forcing your hand to go any which way. You can do whatever you want. So take Teractor if you get it as an option. And coming in at number one, we've got Credit Core. Credit Core is just so much fun. I love this corporation for a few different reasons. First of all, as I just mentioned in number two with Teractor, you're getting so much money to start the game and get your engine off to such a great start. I, I mean, it's just an easy decision right off the bat because of that. But its effect is so much better, in my opinion, it's so much better than Teractor's. So a minus four discount for standard projects and cards that are 20 or more is fantastic. If you played five of them throughout the game, that's a free 20 cost card or 20 cost play, whatever you want to call it. It's fantastic. Not to mention that a lot of people throughout the game are probably going to be passing you 20 plus cards because they're too, they're too expensive to play. So I love this corporation. You don't have to play big cards, but you can for a discount, which is great. There are so many strong, powerful cards that are over 20 credits. And if you're playing them, you're just getting so much money back in return. So if you're getting this corporation to choose in the beginning of the game, please trust me, you won't be sorry. Take this corporation. It's fantastic. So there you have it, guys. That's my top five corporations in Terraforming Mars. This was so much fun to make this video. I really enjoyed it. Um, so hopefully we can make more of these videos. Just would love to get some support from you guys, some feedback. So please don't forget to comment down below, like and subscribe, and come check me out on Twitch sometime. I'm really hoping to get out some more of these videos. And uh, as a little final treat for you, you get to see my wife make fun of me for the last couple seconds here. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, oh. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> ah! So if you really want to know how to play Terraforming Mars, this is the down low. <laughs> You really need Jovian tags. If you don't have Jovian tags, you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> and honestly, you really want to raise the temperature. <laughs> and you want to make sure you go to the next generation.